As we approach Easter, my thoughts have lingered on one of the last moments of the Savior's mortal ministry, as He was being crucified on Calvary's cross. The Redeemer of all mankind uttered these timeless words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. How is it possible in His time of excruciating agony for Jesus Christ to ask His Father to forgive His tormentors? And yet, on the cross, Jesus did exactly that. He practiced what He had preached. He taught us to love our enemies, to do good to those who hate us, and even to pray for those who despitefully use us. I know from firsthand experience that forgiveness blesses both the forgiver and the forgiven. Three children born to Ruth and Jimmy Hatfield suffered from congenital heart disease. They sought my help as a heart surgeon for their two daughters, Laurel Ann and Gay Lynn. I was heartbroken when both girls died after I had operated on them. Understandably, Ruth and Jimmy were shattered, and they blamed me. For almost six decades, I was haunted by this situation. I grieved for the Hatfields and tried to establish contact with them several times, but without success. A few years ago, I reached out again to the Hatfield family. Much to my relief, this time they were willing to meet with me. On bended knee, I poured out my heart to them. The Spirit of the Lord prevailed. They forgave me. And it proved to be a turning point in their lives and in mine. Now I treasure the friendship I share with the Hatfields. Just think about their courage and humility. They were willing to let go of old hurts. The spirit of forgiveness released them from burdens they had carried for nearly 60 years. There is nothing easy about forgiving those who have disappointed us, hurt us, cheated us, or spread false rumors about us. However, not forgiving others is poison for us. Grudges weigh us down. Angry disagreements separate us. Animosity and hatred can divide families. And yet, the Savior's counsel is clear. If ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Forgiving others does not mean condoning sinful or criminal behavior, and it certainly does not mean staying in abusive situations. But when we choose to forgive others, we allow the Lord to remove the poison from our souls. We permit Him to soothe and soften our hearts so we can see others, especially those who have wronged us, as children of God and as our brothers and sisters. Every Easter, we rejoice in the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the epitome of forgiveness. My dear friends, I invite you prayerfully to consider if there is someone whom you should forgive. Will you free yourself from a grudge you may be harboring? I can think of no more fitting way to honor the Lord Jesus Christ this Easter. I promise that as you forgive, the Savior will relieve you of anger, resentment, and pain. The Prince of Peace will bring you peace. Jesus Christ is risen. He loves you, and because of Him, you can experience the joy and miracle of forgiveness.